Hi, welcome to Wednesday. So, Jordan is finally releasing his version of events from back in the trip in May. As you know, the second movie uh, <laughs> was this month, this year's trip. Um, but Jordan releases his as like individual videos. So I kind of just have the first episode here and it is just that first Wednesday. I did watch it earlier today. I, I watched the premiere while I was at work. Uh, I don't think he's planning on premiering the rest, but in this one he decided to. So I watched this while I, at work, but uh, by and large, uh, it came out pretty good. And he has them scheduled for the next week-ish. The final one should be out like Thursday next week. I think. But I'm excited that he's finally gotten these out because they're getting ready to go to Dallas <laughs> very soon. So definitely need him to uh, keep the ball rolling on that. They should all be scheduled, so it shouldn't be an issue. But this does also make me want to work on the remaster, the recut thing of uh, season two of his vlogs because if I don't, nobody will. <laughs> So, keep an eye out for that. Both the finished up versions of this, which might be out by the time you get this, and the um, the season two remasters. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go figure out why the dogs are flipping out. So Nintendo put out a thing for this playtest. As of Tuesday, the 15th, 7.59 a.m. PDT, they no longer accept results. It opened today, Thursday, um, Thursday the 10th. Let's see my results. I have been selected. A new hand touches the beacon. Which is really funny to me because of, uh, uh, Tears of the Kingdom thing. But, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think it says on the 20th they'll have more information and then, like, tell me how to download the app. It, it, okay. So it has, like, an application for whatever this playtest is testing. And if you were selected, it'll give you a download code to enter on the eShop. Be like, hey, here's the thing. Which is exciting. For now, I, can't, I don't really have much to say about it other than I was selected. Uh, but it is exciting and I'm looking forward to figuring out whatever this playtest is. Normally I do these things with the box sitting on my desk, but this is actually a decent sized box. So let me go get my knife so I can open this. Okay. And it's a switch ink. And it's a uh, switch hands. And a chink. And a chunk. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got. I know what I got, but like, let's show you what I got. Gonna point this upwards at the ceiling just so I don't have to deal with censoring of any sensitive information. Alright, I don't think there's anything, so let's take a look at what we got. It is... Horizon 5. And it is... Five hundred twelve gigabyte SSD, and it is two eight gig sticks of RAM, and it is the uh a B five fifty MK ultra durable motherboard, and a fifty percent off DoorDash code.
and a good chop money off code. And a HelloFresh 17 free meals. Honestly, I didn't expect that. I expected the the computer parts. I didn't expect all of those like bonus codes. But uh, they're definitely welcome. So, there was a deal that I came across on Twitter. And it was the motherboard plus the uh, uh, CPU plus the RAM. And if you enter this, this special code, it also throws in the SSD. And it... Uh, after all the, the, the shipping and tax and everything, it came out to 208 So I was like, yes, please, I need a new fucking computer. So I absolutely need to, uh, I absolutely need to get something for it. <laughs> and I have a few of the parts now. And as, as time goes on, that's a lot of the parts of a new computer. Uh, I still need a GPU. I still need some kind of uh, cooling. I still need a new power supply. Those are the three biggest things. I'm sure there's more that I'm forgetting. I'm sure I will remember in due time. But those are. The, I have a lot of the parts already. The most expensive one is def definitely going to be the GPU. But that's fine. <laughs> I'll... Uh, as, as time goes on, I'll keep my eye out at, on deals, and hopefully, with Black Friday coming on right around the corner, I'll be able to get everything soon and have a new computer by the end of the year. I hope. Because this thing is falling apart. <laughs> and I need it to not fall apart. And it's falling apart. It's also 10 years old. <laughs> Probably a little older than that because the parts were already a little old when I put it together, but you know, whatever. I heard a lot of people talking about this, so I decided to, to order some for myself. I couldn't get to the, um, the store in person, so I had to have it delivered. Awesome. I was skeptical, both of how it would taste and what others would think of me because of me having it. But I got it anyway. And now finally, it's time. It's special K time. the strawberries are not great dry but we're gonna try it anyway yeah not great dry let me go get milk I like my cereal very, very wet. Okay, it's not bad. not bad, but it's definitely not something I would go out of my way to have again. Nope. 
Because it's made with real strawberries. It's kind of a double-edged sword. Because my mom is allergic. So I kind of have to keep this away from her. Not that she, not that she would eat it knowing that it's made with real strawberries, but like, I kind of have to like quarantine this bowl and this spoon now. Just until I could get them washed. Would I have it again? Maybe just to finish this box, get my money's worth. But I wouldn't buy it again, that's for sure. Today was Joe's birthday, and so we, um, we had a cake, a small celebration, just us, me, mom, Joe, Liv, and Jake, um, nothing too fancy, uh, mom made a small thing for him, um, I don't even have footage of us singing. Mom has it somewhere. I don't know where she put it. Um, but it was it was nice to to celebrate. The the the, the thing that gets me and, and and it's like, oh cool, mom's birthday. All right, it's their anniversary. Oh yay, it's Joe's birthday. It's just in rapid succession, the seventh, the ninth, the thirteenth. It's like. It it's too close together, if you ask me. And and like. Obviously, they couldn't help their birthdays, but they, they could have picked a better day for their anniversary. I'm just saying. <laughs> but we're, uh... They, uh, it seemed to be a good one for him. And that's good, because it's both of their 49th, as I misspoke for Mom's birthday last week. Um, I don't really have too much to add other than, yeah, we had cake. It was nice. When Mom and Joe went to the yard sale stuff the other day, they bought this fan. Now, the intention is for me to put it in that window there, but I'm second-guessing that because I'm wondering if doing that is going to cause issues. Because, like, I have a lot of, like, concerns. But, like, I shouldn't because it's just a fan. So it should be fine, I think. I mean, the worst thing for me right now is the... I had to close those blinds because the sunlight was, like, starting to fade some of my switch cases. So I'm like, okay, cool. But now I'm wondering, if I do that, is the same thing going to happen just now through the fan? So it's going to be, like, whoosh-shaped and not just the entire thing. I don't know. Figure it out. But, um, for now I have it. So I can definitely, um, try to, uh, I definitely need it. That's the thing. Because it gets very hot in here. Especially during the winter when we have the air conditioning, or the, the heating running. So, like, this computer runs very hot. So it gets very hot in here. So, maybe it's for the best that I just do it. I think I'll just do it. The big annoying thing is that, um, this window doesn't open properly. And I guess when I'm not using it, I can just close the blinds again.
fuck is that? What? This is not gonna work. See what I mean by the window doesn't close properly? It just slammed shut. The other thing that I've noticed is that the only side that like extends is the side that I need to stay flat. So yeah, this absolutely was not gonna work in here. I guess I'll put it in my bedroom. So I don't normally like explore the kitchen, but we just started reorganizing. So I do want to like take a look at what we've done so far. There hasn't been a ton, but I also haven't like shown what it looked like before, but like this was like full all the way up. Those were full of other stuff, mostly like stuff for like cooking. This was full of, like, pots and pans, and there are still a few in here, like the Dutch ovens, but by and large, it's, like, better sorted. Oh, the big, big thing is gone. Where did it go? And then the biggest thing is down here. All of our baking sheets and, and cutting boards are in here now. So ultimately, all this stuff still needs to go. And we need to empty this, the hutch, because we want to get rid of the hutch. Which, if you ask me, is a dumb idea, but, you know, is what it is. But all this stuff is, like, clean and just gotta find a spot for it. Figure out how to fit it. Like, this is gonna be a long process. Anyway. That was the only thing we really did today. Uh, I wanted to stream, but, you know, with so much going on, it just wasn't feasible. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you next week where hopefully that'll get done.